Hi everyone, today is Sunday, June 23rd, 2013. I'm back with another video journal. What you see here are my sweet pepper, and this is one of the red variety. When it's ripening up, when it's mature, it will turn red. Of course, the other, the, there are other colors, green, yellow, orange, in terms of color. But there are also other varieties that with different sizes. Uh, the smaller one actually produce more fruit, but it's a little tiny, smaller. This is the, the normal size that you see in the store. I assume that's the one I'm, I'm growing. So here I have three plants, and each one of them producing fruits. You can see here, this one's about size tennis ball, and they're producing tops, also a lot of flowers. And this one here, is the, the fruit's about size of golf ball now, and as you can see here, there's, there's also fruit on top there. So this, I have three here in the uh, on the ground, and I have three more in back of me in the growth box. Uh, so this one seems to grow the best, uh, probably about 18 inches tall now. This one, the middle one, with the big fruit, uh, that one probably about 12 inches. And the smaller one here is probably about 10 inches. So somehow they grow at a different rate. But I think the important thing is that they produce some fruit. This one, the tallest one, I don't see no fruit yet, maybe here. That's one fruit here. So this one, the tallest one, seem to produce, seem to be a little bit slow producing fruit. But all of them are very beautiful, luscious green. They grow very nicely. This part of the garden uh, has partial shade and, and afternoon uh, sunlight. So I think bell peppers uh, like that. Uh, too hot, I don't, I don't think they, they like extreme real hot weather above 90 degrees. And they probably stop producing if it's too hot. But at a normal temperature, at a probably optimal temperature, probably 75 to 85 would be okay, I guess. And I, kept the, uh, I keep the soil fairly moist. With, I dress it up with a lot of, as you can see, a lot of compost, organic compost. Uh, I add a lot of uh, I guess the compost also have warm gas, so I don't have to add to it. Some of the compost, like I say, I, I have to purchase. I don't have enough. I'm making some compost in the backyard because I'm, this is the first year I, I grow in this new house. I have to produce a lot of compost to compensate. But I have to buy a lot of them to compensate for uh, what I don't have. Okay, let me pause this and let me show you three other the other peppers, the other plant that are in the growth box. Okay, so I'm back here again, and this is my growth box here, right next to my house, and next, as a matter of fact, my windows right there. Uh, this is about the four feet uh, growth box, and again, uh, the one in the growth box seem to seem to be grow a little bit uh, taller than the one on the ground. Maybe the soil is better. I, I don't know because the uh, the gold box has a, a very fine, good mix of warm cast and organic material. So you can see here, look at this one, actually producing a small size golf balls now. They're all about maybe 18 inches tall now. This one probably about 2 feet tall. And like I say, the tallest plant somehow produce, uh, slow to produce the fruit. So this two here, this one, and the one in the middle here, so you can see here, it's actually producing fruit. So bell pepper, it's it's a it's a sweet pepper. Uh, has in terms of uh, scale, in terms of uh, hotness, this is zero. So it doesn't have any capsaicin in it, which uh, the 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 chemical that makes the chili hot, capsaicin. And in the SHU scale, it would be zero, SHU. So Scoville's uh, heat unit would be zero. And of course, bell pepper has a lot of good vitamins A, vitamin C, so and so. Okay, so that's my uh, latest update on the, my bell peppers. And thank you for watching. Please post a comment and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.